What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will at the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and uh, you are looking at the new Dingo Gap picture. I wanted to make this video on Thursday night but uh, I didn't make it. I got it all ready to do. Uh, I went to bed. I was going to make it when I got up. I got up in the morning. My father passed away. It was a really bad morning. I to put my last video on if you didn't know that um like if you're not even a subscriber of mine i've got a really good group of subscribers here you guys have been sending condolences uh emails everything i'm just lucky to be me and lucky that you guys watch this stuff and care about me and um at facebook all my friends on there and stuff too they've all been sending condolences i had a really awesome dad i mean he won one of those deadbeats so and there's not you know a lot of good dads out there and i definitely had one of them so I'm going to try and make this video again. i tell you what, as heavy as my heart is right now, I needed some normalcy. I just made this video 15 minutes, 16 minutes long. It was awesome. I was excited. I was happy when I first started it. And I tell you what, it bombed out. and It's totally drained me. But I want to go through here and show you some of this again because this stuff's awesome. This is the Dingo Gap picture. I mean, look at this thing right here. You see what I'm kind of focused. You might be focusing in on something else over here since there's so much junk here, like these 90-degree angles and stuff, these T brackets. Or whatever these are, but I'm looking at this one thing here. This is what grabs me, that and this stuff down here. But this grabs my eye right away. Now, Chris over at Mars Anomaly did this uh, did this already. Uh, he did a really good job on it because look at this. Look at this junk. Tell me that's not a paste and copy uh, blur tool job right here. It's a pretty bad one, too, if you ask me. See how it gets real choppy down here? But... Uh, he did a good video on it that shows how, you know, some of the raw pictures don't line up correctly. The stuff doesn't look right. Um, one of the raw pictures I have looks perfect because I think this is one that they, they did it from, the manipulation from it. Um, where was it? It was one of these right here. And this one kind of looks like it. The ridge looks the same and stuff like that. Let's see. But he did a really good video on it. And if you go to his channel, it's Mars Anomalies. You can find it on there. I'll link it below. I'll link this page. I always link everything. So you never have to worry about links here. I mean, we've got some pretty neat anomalies on this thing. I mean, look at this. This thing looks like a car here. We've got what looks like the circle. we got this thing over there. we got stuff just look. It looks like typical Jake Junkyard, um, you know, war-torn, strewn everywhere Mars that we're used to. And if this is what we're seeing on, and you know, I'll show you where I got this. This is what we're seeing on the way to Mount Sharp. I tell you what, I would, be, would not be surprised if the rover has a technical failure soon because they're not going to be able to hide everything too long. I mean, Mount Sharp, we, I, from what we see, we see a whole lot of stuff on that ridge line that as you start going up. There's like a road that goes up the hill, and uh, that's where we're going. I hope that's where we're going. I don't think we're going to get the... Uh, the public's going to get the view of it, at least what we deserve. What a billion-dollar machine that thing is. We deserve much better pictures than this. 17 megabytes for a uh, panorama, panorama of it, you know. It's things put together, so. Anyway, let's go back to the Photoshop. I've got it in here just so we can tweak it a little bit if we want to. Um, now, let's take a look at the one I really enjoyed over here. I thought, first, I've got so many emails from people about this. And thank you guys, like I said, so so many emails kind about my father's passing. And it just really made me feel good. The, the strangers, I don't even know. You know, people who have never commented before commenting or sending me emails and stuff like that. And it's just good to know you guys enjoy watching these things. Sometimes I wonder who the heck watches these videos and will listen to me for so long and blab. And Because I also throw my personal life in with this stuff. You know, I kind of mix Mars and my personal life together. So hopefully you guys feel like you know me a little bit. You know, I haven't, you know, you don't know everything about me. I don't think I've talked much about my music and stuff like that. I posted a link to somebody the other day and I got a bunch of comments from people who enjoyed it. You know, I kind of got a weird style of music. I've been writing and playing guitar since I was a child. My father and his father. They're both played, um, and I, I haven't done it recently, but I've got some old demos up on my other uh, page. If you look at my willfarr.net, there's a link to my Reverb Nation. Um, or if you just click on here, I think if you go to my channel, you can find some of that stuff. But either way, if you're interested, uh, that's all demo stuff. I hate even telling people I have that stuff out there anymore because it's so old and how much better I play now. But like, music is in the ear of the beholder. <laughs> that's how I hear it. All right, let's bump this a little bit. This is darkened out. They supposedly white balance these pictures, which takes, supposedly makes it look like here on Earth. Well, this looks like here on Earth in the middle of the night. So I'm just going to blast the contrast. All right, blast the brightness and bring down the contrast, see what we can get. Now, you look at these lines in this thing. Perfectly seem to be cut. Um, these seem to be raised up above it. Um, here at the top seems to have something that runs right across all of them. And these, if you really look, they, come, they go straight down. 
one, it comes across and comes down and it goes straight down like a leg. Comes across, comes down, goes straight down like a leg. Very interesting. Um, what do you think that is? That's one of the ones I want. I want you guys to comment. Let me know what you think that is. Stuff like this out here. We're going to go briefly through the picture. I'm not going to get in too much. Like I said, Chris over at Mars Anomalies did this. He did a really good job. And it's like, sit, talk to you. Like I said, he pointed out a lot of good stuff about how this thing looks manipulated. And if this is the, what we're going to see on the way to Mount Sharp. We won't be seeing too much too much longer because it's going to be hard to hide. This is, this is pretty crazy. Uh, this is a great picture. I said, I've been dying to do this, this thing and I needed some normalcy. So here we are. Back on Mars. Now, I'm probably not going to be around the rest of the week. Maybe a couple videos here and there. Uh, my dad's service is next Saturday. So, and uh, this here, look at that here. looks like some sort of, uh, like one of the things here you see on one of our cartoons where a, like a, a, a snake would come out with a snake charmer. It looks like one of those type of baskets right there. Um, the, this stuff just looks like parts, you know, here seems to be parts of something and just the typical war thrown Mars everywhere. Stuff's just blasted apart, scattered everywhere. Um, typical, but you see the symmetry and everything. It's like these little parts that could have been parts of statues. And look, if here on Earth, we would build it. We build everything. We build a lot of stuff in stone. So if something happens here, we're going to find a lot. And if you like go to places like Puma Punku and places that were actually looked like they were destroyed, you know, you see some of the stuff like this. Uh, look at this, this block up here. Uh, this thing here is kind of interesting to me, whatever it is. It seems like I said, everything seems buried on the cliff here. Um, he, I, look at the blurriness of this, too. I'm only at, what am I at? 400 400 percent you know it's, it's I'm, I'm going in but i know the i know the rover i've seen the schematics they've got much better pictures than this more would seem to be just you know perfectly cut rocks that have uh lines through them and spots this here seems to have a it looks like some sort of bowl or something but it has a bevel on it that's been added to it perfectly cut blocks more perfect kind of looking cut blocks those are everywhere on Mars. Like I said, whatever hit that thing or happened to Mars, it shot that stuff everywhere. See how these, these things kind of look look to be just a little bit shaped, things like that. We'll start over here, go through this side of the picture. Let me go ahead and take off the uh, step. I made that really dark, or brought the darkness out. Like, look at this here. Perfect little thing just sitting there. It looks like it was carved up, a perfect little box or something. Um, let's roll through some of this stuff. Do, 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 do. Like I said, I said I probably, I, I'm just so overwhelmed by how many people sent me stuff here. You know, it's been totally, totally amazing. Look at this here. It kind of looks like a, the, this is a square with a dot in the middle, and this is a square with the dark in the middle. It's just interesting something there. And we saw that when it was brightened up earlier. It definitely brightens up, I can tell you that. This is kind of like out in rock, no land, man. It almost looks like a soda bottle thrown here. But look, look at the colors they've added. That's not on Mars. That that stuff's thrown throughout this picture during their supposed white balancing to throw you off. I mean, they it blends with the eyes. Let's come over here and look at some of this stuff. Perfect as you go through it. This looks like a bowl that's been buried. It's got the perfect bevel. It looks almost looks exactly perfect as it goes through it. Um, and then we're going to start moving up. This looks like a circle of life here that's just sitting on, been carved into something. And then we're going to get right into this junk up here that just looks pathetic. This this cut looks pathetic. I mean, it looks like they just took a tool from Photoshop and added that right to it. Um, and even up here, it gets kind of choppy how they did it. <laughs> this, it's interesting to me. This little thing I've seen, so I, almost looked, I did a video a long time ago called The Love Boat on Mars, and that looks just like it. So maybe it's moved. Maybe it's an artifact they use. Um, I got so many different subscribers. Some people think this thing's in the Utah desert or, or in the Nevada desert, somewhere in Arizona. They, uh, you know, somewhere on a government base somewhere. It's definitely not on Mars. Some people were on Mars, but they think that we're, you know, the pictures are being manipulated, which absolutely are. They're being manipulated. I believe we're on Mars. There's no way that uh, – Every, there's many countries that can watch these missions, and somebody would have called bullshit a long time ago, excuse my language. Now, this thing here looks like a baby bassinet or something. Check this out. There's like a, or some sort of, and, and, and 
when I say these things, I'm just telling you guys who have never watched my videos, I just say what I see, you see what you see, and the people who have actually watched my videos know what I do, so they, they understand here. But it's got like this, looks like you just throw your baby in there, it's got a little handle, you can push it along. Interesting triangle type uh, thing there. Just when you have one little thing, like say we just had one ring, look at that ring, a perfect circle, perfect circle there. Say if we just had that. All right, well, that's a coincidence. No big deal. Um, then you couple in that with, you know, that, with that, with that. You know, you start thinking, well, geez, come on, duh, what's going on here? You know, something's going on here, obviously. You know, there's, there's something was on Mars and possibly still is. Like, I got such a great subscriber base. They, you know, I get so many theories from you guys and messages about people who theorize on what happened. I, every day, it's like, I don't have anything set in stone. Of course, you know, I have my thoughts about it. I definitely think there was some sort of cataclysm or something happened. Uh, a lot of the stuff they have was maybe made, it was stone, metal, things have oxidized, things have, you know, they're also being blurred out, not only by us, but, uh, you know, by the country, but just by the optics and stuff. Check this thing out. This was cool. This was a neat artifact. This has a handle. What in the world? Now, so say that one thing that looked like the uh, with the thing with the stand over there on the right, um, over here on that side, and then you've got this, what looks like an upright tool of some sort, a bag of some sort, like uh, something that you would pick up like this. You can see through it. One, two. It's got two handles to it that have been carved into it. It comes down. And it, and it, and what's interesting, and it comes down, it goes both to both sides. So it looks like it was made to come down like that. It almost looks like a portable chimney or something, or maybe an entrance to something. You just never know. The sky's the limit when you're doing this. I see what I see, you see what you see. It's one of those things here, like I said, like I said before. Um, perfect, just perfect angles on all these rocks. They just look like blocks that were you know, halfway across the uh, the way and came on flying on over. And what's the more interesting stuff up here? This is definitely a picture to get. And they said it was only 17 megabytes, you know, so it's not a big one. And it should have been much bigger. I wish they would have done. This is where I want you to do the big 150 megabyte ones. This is where we should have had detail by detail to get a really good look at some of this stuff. Uh, I mean, NASA, they keep they keep overlooking this stuff. And the guy, the one guy just sued him. And, and I hope that he does get some. I'm sure nothing will happen, you know, but I hope that he gets some answers because we need them. We need some answers. We need to, we need to know what happened there. If Mars had life on it and a possibility of, of old life or, you know, whatever happened, it would be nice to know. It would be nice because that knowledge is, is, is power. You know, we can see possibly what happened and... You know, not only the people in the know would know what's going on. Um, and besides, like I said, the, the blatant manipulation of this picture with that thing that Chris has got a great video on. You can check that out and see the uh, the manipulation they've done to it. The, what they've cut out. Who knows what they cut out. What they've left in is amazing enough. More perfect. Uh, not perfect. Well, I say perfect too much, but not. You know, look at that. It just looks to be shaped. This thing comes down around here. Then it goes past it and comes out. More what seemed to just be... I don't know, like ruins of something or, you know, twisted up metal-y stuff, twisted up rocks. Um, another brick that looks like it's on a perfect platform. Look at that perfect platform. It's like a 90-degree rounded angle. You go up the platform. Look how dark they made this stuff. And we're going to, this is an interesting piece here, so we're going to brighten this on up. Edit, adjust, contrast, bam, a little bit more goodness see how dark this is it's ridiculous and i hope you're starting to see it now look at the the carving of this right here perfect 90 degree angles on both it almost looks like there's something buried there like some sort of futuristic car or something this is like the old uh galactic taillight or something like that and you got this here it looks like it's got a top on it i mean this stuff just looks buried in the sand um, Typical Mars stuff is what we see everywhere. Junk, uncle, junkle, J, uncle Jake's junkyard, as Terry would say. Totally, totally, totally. And Terry, you need to get back. You need to just break the bullet and get on bullet, uh, Google Plus, man. A lot of us miss your messages, if you know what I'm talking about. My buddy Terry's in, uh, uh, well, I, I met him on here. And where is he? He is in Paris, France. Old Paris. Uh, musician up there. He's down there. If you check my channel out, you can check out his flamingo music. Awesome. But I've been begging him. To, he doesn't want to do it. He's got principle. He's, the, <laughs> he's like, no, I will not do it. They're, they don't want to make me do something. So more power to him. But 
I like to have his comments on stuff. So, And like I said, thank you guys so much for all the condolences and said I needed to do something today with Mars. Like I, said, I had this picture up Thursday night. I wanted to get it done. That's why I'm not going to focus you know, 100% on it like I should. Um, not There's all these already out there, some really good videos on it. But I know there's people talking about it, at least. I've seen it in my Facebook groups. Look at this. And see how this this red and green stuff are in it? It's like kind of scattered throughout. Like they almost put it in there to blend the crap together. But if you were to just take this piece by piece and look at each thing, it's like this looks totally made, you know. Let's see what we got back down over here. Make sure I didn't miss any of the main anomalies for this. So I already talked about that stuff up at the top and, and how... The uh, thing that kind of looks like a little car or something there, whatever the heck that is. And uh, that's what I, like I said, if you check Chris's video out, you're, it's going to be linked below. He, he does a good job talking about it. I think he calls it a car. I only, I, like I said, I didn't watch the whole thing. I almost got through most of it. I I, uh, I figured I wanted to get on this thing before. I, well, I still had some energy and, and the mindset to do it. So I said, I'm going to be taking off most of this week coming up. Uh, but I will be back in full force. And when I come back, expect insane videos we're gonna get this stuff out to everybody i got asteroid videos coming up i've got mars saturn we're gonna we're gonna look into everything we're gonna keep pushing the limit and uh this year we're gonna get something 2014 2015 we will have some answer they're gonna have to give it to us i mean they can't keep putting out pictures that look like this and just saying oh nothing or they can't put a picture out of the opportunity rover find something and say oh that was nothing so up here you got what looked to be wires or tubing that runs out of this and runs around and down and it's even s-curved and look at this stuff some of it looks you know a lot of, we see faces in a lot of stuff so i see some of this look like faces but mostly i think this area is just machinery junk you know rocks regolith really fine sand that looks like somebody did a horrible job with the blur tool right here the copy clone tool i mean it it's getting sloppy, you know. If you, come on, NASA. I know you guys watch my videos. I've seen your hit. You guys hit my server all the time. Um, what are you gonna do here? I know you're leaving this stuff in for us, but come on, give us something to see. Billion dollar. We pay your paychecks. You know, billions of dollars we put into this thing, and we get back this junk. This thing right here should be so. Re I should be able to 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 move in on it. And see this so perfect and beautiful and uh, crystal clear. It just doesn't make any sense, you know. I know there's bandwidth limitations sending back from Mars, but don't let don't believe there's not that much limitations. Let me tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised if there was actual very live video coming back in HD from Mars that the public doesn't get to see. So um, I think I've covered most of the anomalies I wanted to on here. And like I said, see Chris's video of Mars anomalies. He's he's the guy that's got Mars anomalies. Just that's just his name. And uh, we'll go from there. I said, let me know what you guys think this is. I, I love to know. At first, I thought it was something that's got legs to it. It's got stuff that comes out on it. Um, almost looks like a grill. <laughs> something. There's stuff down here. Let me know what you guys think. Once again, thank you guys for all the condolences. You don't understand how much it meant to me. And uh, like I said, I'll be sporadic here throughout the week. Um, and like I said, a couple weeks, I'm going to really hit this back hard. So much love, guys. What's up in the sky? 37 Will saying peace. Have a good one.